Welcome back to Dezavi Productions. My name's Dezavi. Today, I'll be showing you how to map the cells from battery 4 to match the drum pads of your MIDI controller. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button so you don't miss a session. Without further ado, let's get to it. Alright guys, so here we have our session. We'll be using Pro Tools, but this works with every other DAW. Here inside Pro Tools, we have an instrument track called Battery. We're going to add Battery 4 by going to the first slot here. This is Insert A. So I'm going to click on the slot, go to Plugin, go down to Instrument, and select Battery 4. Now before we touch any of the slots here, we want to make sure that this is set up correctly. Here in the middle of the screen, it's going to say New Default, and to the left of it is a drop down arrow. We're going to click here, go to Edit, and select Preferences. Now inside the general tab at the very bottom is going to say transpose MIDI input. We want to make sure that this is set to zero. So I'm going to change it here and I'm going to go to close. And we also want to make sure that the selection follows MIDI button is turned off. That's the little button right here. If it's grayed out, that means that it's turned off. If it's not and it's on, it's going to be white and highlighted here as such. So I'm going to turn this off and let's go ahead and double click on one of the kits here. Next, we're going to record and enable the track. And let's go ahead and take a look at the MIDI controller. So right now we're using the Akai MPK Mini and I have the full level turned on and we're currently in bank A. Now as I hit the pads, I'm going to hit the top ones and the top ones are playing the ones at the bottom. And if I hit the bottom row, it's playing the top one, which is not what I want. So the way that we're going to map this, we're going to go ahead and select the, the slot that we want to map. So I want to map the top one to the top one here. So I'm going to go ahead and go here to the right side of the waveform. It's going to say key range. Next to the C2 on the left hand side is a MIDI icon button. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to double tap on the drum pad that I want to assign the slot to. So I'm going to tap once, tap twice. And now you can see that two slots are assigned to one because it was originally assigned to the bottom one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select the bottom slot, go again to the key range section, Click on the little MIDI icon, and now we're going to double tap on the bottom pad because that's where I want it. So I'm going to tap once, tap twice, and now you can see that the bottom one is assigned to the bottom one, the top one is assigned to the top one. And we're going to do this for the next slot. So we're going to go here, go to key range, turn on the MIDI icon, double tap on the pad that I want to assign it to, and then now it's assigned to two slots. So we're going to go to the bottom one here, go to key range, turn on the MIDI icon, and assign this one to the bottom one. So now we have four slots that are assigned to the four pads going according to the um, mapping of the drum pad here. And you can do this for every other slot and going on and moving on to bank B. So this is how you map the slots from battery four to the drum pads of your MIDI controller. If there's anything else that you need help with for battery four, please let me know in the comments and I'll make a tutorial for that as well. So just for the sake of it, we're gonna go ahead and keep moving on. So I'm gonna go to the third one here, go to the MIDI icon, Double tap, go to the bottom, MIDI icon, double tap. So now we have six pads assigned. Going on here, assign that. Move here, assign this one. So now we have eight pads currently assigned, and we're going to move over to bank B. So we're going to click here. Now it's green. So we're going to go to this one, and I want that one to be up here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to MIDI icon, do that again. And we're just going to keep going till we fill up our 16 pads. So do this. It's actually very quick and easy. And MIDI icon, double tap. Slot, MIDI icon, double tap. So now we have all 16 pads assigned exactly the way that I want them. And this is again how you assign the slots from battery 4 to the drum pads of a MIDI controller. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next session.